Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. I am an intuitive reader, a manifesting coach, a Reiki practitioner, and a life path guide and mentor here to help you along your awakening journey so that you can co-create the life of your dreams. And my specialty is signs and understanding the inner workings of the universe, the subconscious. And in this video, we're going to talk about why there's so much breakdown. Why do we have to experience chaos for months or years before we can purify ourselves to be ready to receive our desires? And it really is a purification. That is the entire soul journey. We come here, we jump into these bodies, we're here to experience lessons, to grow our soul. And as children, we endure trauma, we endure pain, and it builds and builds and builds. And at some point, our soul turns back on and we awaken to the fact that we are not these trauma filled bodies that we're identifying with. We're not our jobs. We're not our labels. We're not just parents. We're not just children. We are these beautiful souls that have no age. And we are here to learn how to use our magic and our creativity and to bring whatever we kind of were packaged up with and brought into this life with, we're all brought with some sort of gift inside of us. And our soul's deepest calling is to find the gift within and figure out a way to share it with the world and find, not even find, but once we share it with the world, the people that need your gift will find you. So if you're not showing up authentically in your world and you're experiencing chaos and you're experiencing breakdown and things are happening and maybe you're repeating patterns, maybe you keep attracting the same boyfriend or girlfriend or the same failed marriage. Maybe you've been married three different times. That's okay. These are all lessons for you. And the chaos continues until you wake up and you see that, okay, my internal world is creating this external chaos. How can I stop and pause why the chaos is going on? Maybe it's an injury, maybe it's a death, maybe it's an illness, maybe it's losing your home, maybe it's financial struggles, bankruptcy. You're going to pause. You're going to go within for 10 minutes, sitting in your car, on your couch, in your bed, and you're going to ask yourself, where am I not pure? Where do I need to heal? Where am I not looking at the things that have happened to me in my childhood and I'm just glossing over it and not realizing the pain and the suffering that my inner child, my little version of me, my little Michelle is suffering from all that pain and nobody ever held her, nobody ever acknowledged her. And all of this chaos is going on in my life and breakdown and I'm wondering why my manifestations aren't arriving, but there's a little kid screaming inside of you saying, hey, you've been through a lot pay attention to me and everything else will go away. And that's exactly what the chaos is trying to teach you. It wants you to face yourself. It wants you to go back in time and look at what happened to you and see that it was part of your soul's journey. You know, your past decisions, even if they were terrible decisions, you did it for a reason. You were exploring a road that was maybe here for you. You're supposed to go down that road, experience that pain, mess up, do that thing. You know, I have friends who've gone to jail. I've had people who've done really, you know, things that they have shame about, but their soul chose it. They're choosing at the time they were choosing to do that, to then come back to their soul, to heal it, to find forgiveness and compassion for it. So one of our greatest lessons in this life is forgiveness and compassion. And what I would recommend if you are experiencing chaos in your life and you have been doing the healing, or maybe you haven't, lay yourself on a couch, on a massage table, on a bed, and lay there and put your hand on your heart and your hand on your belly before you go to sleep or just a really quiet time in your day and say, I love you. I love you, body. And I am releasing all shame. I am releasing all guilt. I give you permission to leave my body. I am setting my child, my inner child free. Body, you do not have to hold the pain for us anymore. We are free. We are setting ourselves free. And you talk to your body and you give it permission to let it go. And when you release anger, shame, guilt, 
oh my gosh, the emotion that might pour through you is going to be so good for you. And it's a purification. And when you go in and do the internal work, watch the next 24 hours, your life will change. You'll start to attract different people. The same problems you were having yesterday are all of a sudden gone. I've seen people do this and they literally have like a crazy boss who's just so irate and so mean and they, everyone leaves the boss's office crying about something and the next day they go into work and the boss quit or the boss got fired. And it is wild how when you change your inner world, your external world has to follow. It is the science behind it. And we could sit in the internal world and go, I want my boss to leave. I want my boss to leave. I hate this job. I want to leave this job. But that's not what your inner child is looking for. That is not what your soul is looking for. It's not looking for you to complain about what's wrong. It's looking for you to go within and to honor why you attracted that. Why are you attracting somebody who's diminishing you? You're allowing that treatment. And if it's not that boss, if that boss leaves, guess what? You're going to go somewhere else and there's going to be another person harping on you, yelling at you and diminishing you because you have to address, you have to heal and kind of patch up that part of you that was maybe abused in childhood. You're just repeating a pattern. I talk a lot in my manifestation videos about patterns and we're human. We carry these events in our nervous system and our body is literally a magnet. So whatever is attached, I always think of the spine. Do you guys know the candy, the nerds rope? It's like a rope with all nerds on it. And I always think of the spine as like a nerds rope and all of your trauma and all of your pain are all the little nerds that are stuck to it, right? And every time we release, we lay in a meditation, maybe we're with a healer, maybe we're just in our car and we're crying. Maybe we're in the shower and we're crying and we are allowing those little traumas to be released. It's a purification of that rope. And that rope is your spine. So your nervous system. And it's the center. It's the hub. It's your chakra system. It's the hub of your soul. Okay. And when the more you can purify that, the more magnetic you become for the good things. And that's when the chaos that's been going on or the breakdown that's been going on for years or months, that's when it starts to change because you've done the internal work to free up your nervous system. So if you are looking to manifest things and to call in desires and to understand how to change your reality from chaos to calm and peace, you have to look at what's on your rope. You have to look at your nervous system and you have to say, have I allowed myself, have I given my body permission to release the pain from my last job? Maybe the last job you were at you were harassed. Maybe you were sexually harassed. Maybe you were bullied. Maybe you had to deal with like physical altercations. You know, maybe you were protecting somebody. Um, maybe it was your job. Maybe you're a security guard and you were constantly doing these physical things. Your body holds the memory of every single interaction that might not have been positive. So when you sit in a meditation, when, when you sit with yourself and you say, body, you can let go of every single situation. I am cutting cords and you can go like this and say, I am cutting cords. You can do it on your back. I am cutting cords from that event, from that person, from that marriage, from that breakup, from that high school boyfriend or girlfriend that broke my heart. I am cutting cords. I'm releasing the tie. You have to say it out loud, speak it into existence. You're telling your body you are safe now. You're telling your inner child, I love you so much and I'm not gonna let anybody ever hurt you again. And I'm finally looking at you. This is what I need you all to do right now. I need you to picture yourself at an age where you went through a lot of pain. And that little version of you is in the corner in front of you right now. And they're turned around and they're crying in the corner. For me, it was five years old. I went through a lot of pain when I was five. So I imagine my little five-year-old Michelle with her cute little light brown. I had like light brown blondish hair and I had really, really cute tan skin. I had little calf muscles. I had little biceps even as a baby, <laughs> um, but I was in the corner and I'm turned around and I'm crying and nobody is seeing me. I'm walk They're walking by my room and I'm sitting there crying and I need you all to see yourselves. I need you to see that little version of you. And if it helps, 
please go grab a photo of yourself from when you were a child so you can get a real visual and a connection to their eyes. You're looking at your younger self, they're turned around in a corner crying and they're suffering. You are going to walk over to that child. You're gonna drop down so you're eye level with them. You're gonna grab them gently and turn them around and you're going to embrace this child. And I could even get emotional just thinking about it because I've done this so many times. And you're gonna hug that five-year-old version of you or 10 or 15 or 25. And you're gonna say, I love you. And I'm sorry that nobody was there for you. And I'm sorry that you were abused or I'm sorry that you were neglected and nobody paid attention to you and nobody asked you how you were feeling or, or just maybe nobody talked to you. And you're gonna talk to that little version of you and you're gonna finally give that kid, that beautiful child, that beautiful soul that's so pure, you're gonna give them back what they didn't get. Time doesn't exist. So when you do this healing with yourself, you are filling your cup up. You are cleansing that nerd's rope. You're getting all the nerds off of it. <laughs> and it's gonna feel so good. Like even me getting emotional, just talking about it, teaching it, it's because it's real, it's authentic, it's your truth. That child is your truth. That is who you are. That is who's walking in your body right now, experiencing the chaos that you're experiencing. And if you want your life to change and you want to experience joy and you want to experience happiness, I'm all hot now. <laughs> and if you want to experience this life in a new way, you have to address that little child that's in the corner. You've not been looking at him or her. Every time you're going outside of yourself to manifest something, to attract more money, to get more things, you are walking past that room and that child is still there. So from this day forward, you are going to grab that child, turn them around. You're going to hug them every single day. You're going to look at yourself in the mirror like you're talking to that child and you're going to say, you're freaking awesome. You're beautiful. What do you want to do today? Let's create something awesome. Let's go get our favorite food. Let's go read a yummy book. Let's go take a bath. You're taking that child with you everywhere you go. You're going to strap them in the seat next to you in your car. You're going to dance. You're going to put on their favorite music. You're going to give that child everything that you did not get. And when you begin to live life with that child next to you in every single moment, you speak nicer, you show up for them more, you take care of your body in front of them, you don't put them in situations they don't want to be in, you're not going to go to an environment and force that child to go with you when they're saying, I don't want to go. This is you learning to love yourself. When you see it as loving a child, it's a little bit easier because we have compassion for kids and you need to have compassion for you. So the chaos in your world, the breakdown that's happening, it is because you're not taking care of you and it is a reflection of your inner world. There's a whole lot of stuff on that nerd's rope and it is showing up in your reality. But when you pause, you go within, you talk to that little child in the corner and you give them what they need, everything changes. All of a sudden you stop going to certain places. You stop talking to certain people that are diminishing you because you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't subject your child to that, your inner you. So you, you start making changes and that's when the chaos and the breakdown stops because you're like, screw this. I'm not going to that job anymore. I'm not dealing with this husband or this wife anymore. Who's diminishing me. Anybody that is not supporting you when you're not well, when you're sick, when you're injured, they are not down for you. And you have to ask yourself, why did I attract this? Just like the boss, right? You're going to keep attracting more people until you address the child inside of you that felt comfortable with that kind of treatment. And you're now teaching that child that that's not your comfort zone. Your comfort zone is unconditional love, is only gravitating towards people that say, I support you. I want you to be happy no matter what. What can I do for you? I'm here for you. And they're giving you your full attention. So to wrap this video up, this inner child work is so dope. It's so awesome because you end up just feeling so connected to you. And it's almost like you, your inner child and the universe are like this group of three. You're like this little trio and you live life in a different way. And if anybody disturbs your peace, you're like, get out of here, get away from my child. <laughs> you are not gonna disturb my peace. This is my happy place. You're not going to diminish me and you stand up for yourself finally. 
and you let go and tell the body it can release all the pain. This is what purification looks and feels like. And when you get to that state, now you're ready to show up in the world and share who you are because you feel solid. You're like, I finally don't feel like the weak person that needs advice from everybody. Now I'm the strong person that's helping everybody else reach this state of being. So it's so cool how if we just connect to the younger version of us, it empowers us to live life in a different way. And it is the key to manifestation. Purify that nerd's rope and you are good to go. You're going to be a magnet that attracts everything instantly overnight because you want it for yourself. And you're not leaving yourself in the corner trying to get something to soothe your nervous system, thinking it's going to make you happy. You're already happy within and all of these external things are now just fun and something that you and your inner child can dance and play with every single day. So if you need help, everything's in the description box below. I'd love to help you heal your nervous system and really rewire yourself to want better and to not think these external things are gonna make you happy. All right, loveys, like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, your every hope, your every wish, your every dream is meant to become your reality. All right, peace out.